So making sure you've got clean hands, clean face, apply something to your skin like Fusion by Danielle Collins Moisturizing Serum. I'm going to show you my first exercise, then I'm gonna give you an amazing tip, and then we're gonna do a few other exercises after that. So super simple to start off with, we're just going like this across our forehead. Now we have a big muscle at the front of our forehead called our frontalis muscle. Now we tend to overuse this frontalis muscle. We tend to raise it a lot when we're expressing and we find that we get those horizontal lines that come across our forehead. We hold a lot of stress and tension in that muscle as well. So this technique is very, very gentle, very, very simple, but amazing for helping to reduce lines and wrinkles because we're working with boosting the circulation, we're helping to improve the collagen and elastin production, but we're also helping to prevent because what we're doing here is we're relaxing that frontalis muscle, we're signifying to that muscle that you don't need to be used all the time, you don't need to hold all the stress and the tension, and when you are expressing day to day, you don't need to raise your eyebrows, you can express more with your eyes and keep your forehead really still so the more you relax that frontalis muscle the less you're going to overuse it when you are expressing in day-to-day -day life so you can do this for up to about one minute amazing for those expression lines so we're going to place our hands here and here so keeping the forehead super still you're going to open the eyes as wide as you can and focus on a point in front of you. Now be really sure that you're not raising your eyebrows here. This is super important. You're retraining yourself. So you use your eyes more for expressing and you're able to keep your forehead still when you're talking and you're expressing in day-to-day -day life. Relax the eyes for a moment, then take it again. Focus on one point in front of you, make the eyes wide. Really engage that orbicularis oculi muscle that runs around the eye both sides. Start to wake up that muscle, strengthen that muscle, but relax this frontalis muscle. Close your eyes. Let's do one more time. Opening wide. Use as much pressure as you need to with your hands here to make sure those eyebrows don't raise up and then just gently relax. And if you do find that you wake up in the morning with those lines and wrinkles, definitely this exercise is worth doing. So you take your fingers like this and you do little semicircles coming all the way across and then you just massage into the temples, help to boost the circulation in that area. Then take it again, come to the middle of the forehead, little circles, lift off and then we're going to come up to the top of the forehead little circles coming all the way across then just gently pull your eyebrows away from each other now you can either place your fingers here or on the edge of the eyebrows whichever feels good for you widen your eyes the key is to keep the forehead as still as possible here so if it feels like you're raising your eyebrows adjust your finger position take a deep breath in and a deep breath out close your eyes for a moment and you are all done today i'm going to show you some tricks you can use throughout the day to prevent those number 11 frown lines that we can often get between our eyebrows and they often come when we're stressed when we're concentrating, when we're worried about something and when we're using screens. So there are a few easy little tricks you can do throughout your day, which is going to mean that they're not going to etch into your skin and you're not going to find you've got those deep set wrinkles. So the first thing you want to do throughout your day, and as long as you've got clean hands, you can do this anytime, anywhere, is just take two fingers and just simply tap on that area. Now I like to do this when I've been sat at my desk a lot. First of all it's stimulating an acupressure point which helps to reduce stress and reduce headaches and it helps to reduce eye strain. It also helps to open our third eye chakra and align that chakra but from an aesthetic point of view what it's going to do is it's going to signify to that muscle between your eyebrows, your procerus muscles, to relax. Now that procerus muscle can hold a lot of tension and we can overuse it, we can pull it in, which causes the skin attached to then line. So those two sort of 
11 lines that you can get there. Now, if you relax the muscle, it's not going to pull the skin inwards and it's not going to create those lines. So that's your first tip, use at any point during the day. Your second tip is just to simply press a finger on here and simply relax. So you focus on your breathing and you just scan through your face. So you relax your forehead, really relax that big frontalis muscle at the front of the forehead, relax that procerus muscle, which is where your finger is now, relax the muscles around the eyes, so the key muscles there, your orbicularis oculi muscles. Then you have many muscles in your cheek area and around your mouth, so really focus on relaxing those muscles. Then relaxing that big masseter muscle in the jaw area and then relax your big platysma muscle at the front of your neck. And as you focus relaxing those muscles, you're going to really be softening any tension. And remember all the muscles are attached to each other. So by relaxing, for example, the frontalis muscle, the big muscle across the front of the forehead, you're then going to be relaxing this procerus muscle here, which is attached to it. Okay, so once you've done that little face meditation, and as I said, these can be used anytime, anywhere, and they don't need to be used in this order either. You can just do them at any point in your day. The next one you can do is simply make your finger into a little hook like this, and just smooth upwards. So I'm doing it quite lightly here. You can go a little bit deeper if that feels good for you. And this one is so nice. It's helping to boost that blood circulation. So it's bringing the fresh blood and oxygen to your skin surface. So it's helping to brighten the skin. It's going to naturally allow that middle layer of skin where the collagen and elastin lies to be fed with that circulation to encourage the regeneration of new skin cells. And it's relaxing that procerus muscle. So it's really softening any tension in that area. And you can do that one for about one minute per day. So I wanted to show you some super easy techniques you can use if you're struggling to get to sleep. The first one is just pressing in this point here. It's a really renowned acupressure point for helping to reduce stress, calm your mind, reduce anxiety. Now the key is here to breathe deeply as you do it in and out through the nose. And you can very slowly massage in both directions as well. Your next point is right between the eyebrows. Again, just pressing here, focusing on breathing in through the nose for about a count of four, out through the nose for about a count of six, and you can equally, like the other one, do some little circles in one direction and the other direction. The next thing you're going to do is just on your temples. Again, you can press and you can massage really focusing on your breathing here. Then just come directly above your pupils and press this point here, just above your eyebrows. Again, focusing on your breathing in and out through your nose, and you can massage in both directions. So you can do each one for up to one minute, really focusing on that deep breathing all the time. Hi guys, today we are talking about a gua sha and I'm going to show you exactly how to use a gua sha for your skin. Now you want to have really clean skin like I've got here. I'm going to apply a little bit of my Fusion by Danielle Collins Moisturising Serum which is perfect for gua sha and I'm just going to rub a little bit more of that. I've already got quite a bit on over my skin. Now with gua sha, please just remember to work to your own level. If you have any skin conditions your skin gets aggravated very quickly you have any medical conditions that you need to get checked out which you think might interfere with the gua sha you're in the first trimester of pregnancy or you've had Botox or fillers within the last couple of weeks then you want to avoid gua sha and just check with your medical professional before you do it but as long as your skin doesn't get too aggravated and you've not got any sort of harsh skin conditions going on and you haven't recently had the Botox or fillers and you aren't in the first trimester of pregnancy you are good to go now we are going to be using 
a jade gua sha. Now a jade gua sha is great for any time of the day. It's really one that helps to lift and sculpt your skin but you can use any gua sha you like. Okay so we're going to start off with some press and hold. We're just going to press and hold gently underneath our eye area. This is really soothing, helps to reduce any puffiness underneath your eyes. You can leave your gua sha in the fridge if you really want some extra way to take down any inflammation or puffiness in your skin. I really like just to press and hold on the forehead area as well. It's really nice to press and hold just on one cheek and then on the other cheek and then you can also just press and hold on your jaw area. Okay, let's do a little bit of lymphatic drainage. So we're just going to gently come down and wiggle just behind the ears, very gently down. So you want to hold your gua sha at a 10 to 45 degree angle all the time. And you just want to take it fairly gently. The word gua in gua sha means to rub. And the word sha is the redness that comes to your skin when you're doing it. So gua sha, and traditionally this has been used in Chinese medicine for many, many thousands of years. And it's a great tool to lift and sculpt your skin, really work on your overall wellness, help to boost your blood circulation very good for helping lymphatic drainage like we are now so let's just do a wiggle on the collarbone there and there okay so let's do our jaw area now so we're going to hold our tool like this I like to just hold the skin taut here and then we're just going to go up so I'm using the opposite hand working upwards really helping to sculpt the jaw area. Now you can use this video every day and I would really recommend using it every day if not just a few times a week. Get into a good routine of doing your gua sha. Okay we're going to hold and then we're just going to do the other side really sculpting that area. Releasing tension and working on some really nice acupressure points too and you might start to see or feel a warmth or a redness there there that's that sha starting to come out okay let's sculpt our cheeks so we're holding it at 10 to 45 degree angle again we're just sculpting across the cheek area breathing deeply as you do this and the other side you may want to hold the skin if you find your skin Sort of drags a little bit with this can you see that lovely redness coming to the skin now okay let's go just under our eye area so i like to use this part under the eye area wiggle in that acupressure point then come out so wiggling and across wiggling and across let's see the other side wiggle and across wiggle and across one more time lovely that's really reducing some of that puffiness underneath your eye area okay we're going to do our forehead now so we're going to do one half of the forehead moving outwards and really in terms of how many strokes you do i usually say between three and six you can do a few more if you like and you can do this routine a little bit quick if you like, but we just take it nice and slowly. And you can see quite a lot of char come up on my skin there. Then we're going to use this part and we're just going to go upwards. And that's really nice for reducing tension in this area, reducing number 11 lines, really boosting your blood circulation. So again, some real char there. Now just to say this doesn't feel painful at all even though the redness comes up quicker on certain points in the face it's actually showing that it really needs the gua sha in that area and that redness will go down within a few minutes. So just sculpt along your cheeks again. These are just some of the techniques you can use with gua sha. We offer an amazing um, gua sha teacher training course and I created this course with Katie Brindle who's the founder of the Hey You Method which is where we stop these beautiful gua sha's from 
and also Katie Blake who is a Gua Sha specialist and this qualifies you to be able to teach these beautiful techniques on other people and you'll be able to learn all of the Gua Sha techniques so there are warm-ups that are cool downs there are acupressure points there are lifting sculpting ones you'll learn lots about traditional chinese medicine and the meridians and the lymphatic system as well and then just come to your thymus here and just give it a little wiggle that's really good just for helping your immune system helping you to feel really relaxed too and let's just go through a really quick acupressure sequence. So much quicker than you can usually do. So either use that part or that part, whichever you like. Just wiggle here and here. And when I mean this is much quicker, what you can do is you can spend a lot longer wiggling into it or holding if you like, but we're just gonna go through this nice and quickly today. So there and there, you can see that shark coming up there as well. Here and here's really nice working on the temples you can do a little bit more of a massage there or a wiggle whichever feels good for you just here between your eyebrows it's lovely as well and I like coming just underneath the ears and that little acupressure point you can wiggle or circle and that will release a lot of jaw tension and that is it you are all done for more information on our gua sha teacher training courses and to get all of the beautiful gua sha's I've talked about the rose quartz clear quartz and the jade just head to faceyogaexpert.com take care bye bye